Hey everyone, this is Scott from 9to5Mac. We're going to be looking at the new uh, head movement gestures that is now with iOS 7. So um, it is an accessibility feature. Uh, if we go into the settings, we're able to actually go into the, the accessibility and then switch control. And then from there, you'll see we have the option of switches. And one of them I have set as the left head movement. And I've also made it that when I move my head to the right, it's going to act as a home button. So let me go ahead and turn on switches and you'll see what happens is it actually cycles through all of the options on the screen. So it's going to pop up and first it says switch control changes the gestures used to control your iPad. Are you sure you wish to continue? So we'll say yes. And now what it does is it actually runs through all of the options on the screen and highlights them or puts a border around them. And when I move my head to the left, it actually selects it. So what I'm going to do first is actually move my head to the right so then it acts as a home button and brings me home. So you see that it brought me to the home screen and then it runs through actually every row of icons and we'll wait it to run through everything. And so let's just say if I wanted to actually go into the, uh, the settings application again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until it actually gets back to that row. And I'll move my head to the left and it selects that row and now it's going to go through every icon. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go to the settings by moving my head to the left. And now I'm back into the settings application. So let's see if I wanted to, let's just say, uh, go into the notes settings. I'm going to wait for it to actually run through um, all of the settings again. So it's going to go and hover over into notes. I'll just wait for it to go through, move my head to the left. You'll see that it selects it and then head to the left again for notes, and now I'm actually in the notes section. So just like that, this is how the head movement works. It's definitely an accessibility option. As you can see, it does have errors where right now it just shows the maps, which I didn't mean to do. Um, but it's definitely interesting to see Apple's foray into the head movement or, or kind of the, the new sensor or, or gesture arena. So once again, I guess I moved my head to the right. This is Scott from 9to5Mac. Thank you.